Hi, it's Chelsea, aka The Real Chelsea J, and I'm here to keep it real with you. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a life update. So um, like I said in the, like, it's probably going to be like two videos ago in my current obsessions, but I really want you guys to get to know me more. So this is a perfect way to do it. Let's get into my life updates. Okay, so I decided I had this little trash can thing. Shout out to the girls retreat. If you know, you know. Um, but I wrote down little, I guess, like categories of my life update. And I kind of wanted to just shake it up and tell you about each one. So let's start it up. Let's see what this one is. Oh, no. All right. Sorry about that. We're having technical difficulties. Have you guys ever heard that song? It's like we're having technical difficulties. We're having technical difficulties. We're having technical I'm going to put the so I don't sound crazy. Anyways, back to the update of my life. The one that we are going to pick. I think I picked like six categories or so, so <laughs> we love that for Chels. Okay, let's see. This update is... You can't see it here, but it says my school life. So I graduated. I mean, I did not graduate. <laughs> I'm speaking that into existence. Um, but I finished the semester with a 3.5 GPA. So I was really, really happy. Um, and for those of you who don't know, my major is interior design. And uh, this semester, I actually found out that I'm also going to be able to minor in communications, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I've always loved going to school and just being a part of school and learning. So I'm really enjoying enjoying the process. I've always wanted to go to a four-year university. So it's really exciting. Oh, also I go to Cal State Northridge. I forgot to say that. <laughs> but yeah, I go to CSUN. I'm a matador. And so funny because in high school, I actually was a matador as well. So I guess it was already in wishing that I was going to be a matador. Anyways, I should be graduating in 2025. I'm taking a winter class and I'm also going to be in spring. So um, I'm really excited. I, again, I like love school and my school life is going really well. I mean, finals was really stressful, but what I'm learning is it just takes time and effort. So that's what I'm doing. And I also love school just because I like meeting new people, creating connections and like networking myself, which that's what I'm learning more about doing there. Um, CSUN is really cool. I I've met like a couple of friends. Um, my goal this semester is just to be more involved. It's just like being a commuter and a transfer student, it's kind of hard to like build those connections because people are there every day and that's not the same for me. So I am gonna strive harder for that so that um, I can have some more friends at my college. So. Yeah, but college life is going pretty well. Um, yeah, let's go to another one. No, 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 no. I'm acting like a guy. Do, do, do. Close my eyes. Okay, this one. This is my hobbies update. So, you guys, I have a brand as well called The Creative Switch. It's all things creative. And it's like my social media and my... Um, my interior design furniture flipping i actually created this project for one of my classes i want to show you guys hold on let me go grab it e. okay so here oh my goodness hold on <laughs> not the spinning chair spinning me um anyways okay here is the project that i made that i want to show you guys so it's basically like a brochure and our teacher she wanted us to create something based on like, it's like different forms of art. But mine, I wanted to do on my creative switch. So it says, during the pandemic, lots of people were coming up with ideas. I needed an idea and it's like a light bulb. Then it says, business names are easy. That's what I thought. I put a lot of pressure on myself to create a unique name. Coming up with a brand that would outlast time and trends was very important to me. Let's just say we have a lot. We, have, we all have to start somewhere. Here are some names. And then I list down different names that I was going to go with, but I didn't. And then I was just saying, like, I wanted my business to make it through the pandemic, outlast the moment. But it also meant that I needed to wait. 
And then I put a quote, time does not pass. It continues by Marty Rubin. I was reminded my ideas can become a reality and it's never too late to start. That's also like a reminder and encouragement to you guys. Like if you have a hobby, a dream, something that you want to pursue, it's never too late. So don't believe that lie. Um, my business idea would be called The Creative Switch, All Things Creative, a blog page where I express my creativity through interior design and social media management. First, I needed to research interior design businesses. I was so nervous. This was something out of my comfort zone. I'm used to helping others, but this time it was about crafting crafting something just for myself. I know that's so relatable to a lot of people, like especially me being a person who just loves people and love taking care of others, that sometimes I don't give enough time to myself. So I feel like with this idea of my hobby of creating a space for interior design, it is really something I enjoy and it's something that has Chelsea's name on it, not anyone else's. So then I said, coming up with an idea is one thing, but sharing it with others is another. And then I put down like some, you know, criticism that people were telling me about my idea. And then I says, and then I put on here, the creative switch join my journey. And I told them like where you can stay connected with me. And then on the end I put, my dream is to create an, and create, I don't know. My dream is to create an exciting storefront, a place where my plant, my clients don't just bring ideas, but get the chance to unfold their visions into a tangible reality. Imagine a space full of creativity where unique concepts flow. My goal is not just about running a business. It's a passionate pursuit to share my creativity with everyone. I want people to step into my world and experience the transformative essence of the creative switch. Wow. wow like rereading that it just fuels my fire um this year at least for my life update with the creative switch i do want to be more um just i want to say more involved but just like posting more on there putting my name out there and networking with this bigger idea because i'm starting to i'm understanding like i am a brand and that it's not just um like going to work and working for other people but i want to like create something for myself so that's like one of my hobby updates for at least the creative realm and just stepping more into that craft and that gift that God has given me. Amen. Um, let's go to the next one. Okay. Um, the next one is social life. I remember I... A couple months ago when I said I first moved to LA and how's it going? Well, my social life, you guys, is going great. I finally have friends. Woo! Woo! So it took me a minute. I'm not just one who, like, I'm a person. I'm happy being alone. And if people are, are there, great. If they're not, okay. I'm not really... I'm not a person that wants hella friends and they're all fake. I want friends who are real, honest, and just have good characteristic traits. And I feel like... I'm getting to a place where I'm finding that. So it brings me a lot of joy to say that I have friends and I have fellowship and that my social life is socially. So, um, yeah, not only like social life includes friends, but just like getting outside of my house. I really struggle with that, moving to LA and just being in a new space. But I can say now that I happily go outside, um, not on a regular, but I have created like little things that I like, like the farmer's market and um going to church and just different events that i like being around so my social life is going great okay oh faith life update again um you guys i have a bible study page called lord it's me again with two of my good friends lucius and marisol and lord it's me bible study is about um, just coming back to God over and over. I'd say my faith journey, it's up and down, but God is faithful. His mercy and goodness never fails. It, and it chases after me, and I know it's chasing after you. Um, I was born and raised in the church, so I thank God for my parents doing that because when I lose, a short testimony for me is just like, when I was lost, I was always found in God, and any time that I felt alone or like I couldn't do it, God was always there. He never gave up on me. He never forsake me. And that's why I love him. And 
I'll never stop chasing after God because he never stops chasing after me. So, I mean, an update with that would just be like, I'm still rocking hard with God. <laughs> like, um, I love God and I love people and um, God is good. So, yeah, that, that, that that's an update for my faith journey. Um, also, too, I just feel like God is taking me to a new level in my journey that I haven't gone because sometimes I feel like I can get comfortable and God is just pushing me past my comfort zone, which is hard, but it's it's gonna be rewarding. So I trust, trust in God and strengthening my faith. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. He's strengthening my faith in my faith journey with him, amen. Let's move on to the next one before I keep going on. Um. Okay, what's this one? Oh, we already said that one. Oh, looks like we only have two left, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this one. Update on my love life. Now, I'm one of the girlies who don't say anything about my love life. Um, I probably won't. I probably will keep that way. Uh, I've always said, and I will continue to stand on this. I will never post anyone I'm with until we are married. Um. Awkward silence. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. I'm one of those persons and moving on. All right, let's go to the next one. Living in Los Angeles. There's one, there's one that's missing. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, living in Los Angeles. I mean, I told you guys basically how it's going. It's going way better than it started. Um, I love the journey here. LA is a beautiful city. There's so many creatives and ideas and networking opportunities and just so many people all the time. It's really something hard to get used to. I feel like I'm finding my way through it and I'm just not trying to get lost in the sauce. That's all I could say about Los Angeles. But I'm so appreciative to be living here and just to be pursuing my education here. So I feel like this is just one part of my journey and that I'm going to just enjoy it and not like try to criticize it and nitpick it, but just enjoy every part of it. So, yeah. I'm like, there's one missing and I found it. Here it is, y'all. Personal. How am I doing physically, mentally, spiritually? Well, let's start off with physically. You guys, I have been, I just want to put that out there again. The juicing journey is real. Like my body really does feel better and it gets naturally toned. Like my stomach, I don't know if you guys can tell, what you can't even see it. Okay, anyways, my stomach is naturally getting a little, like just, that's what my stomach looks like, just from juicing and just from like choosing healthier food options. Again, I've always loved fruits and vegetables and like eating healthier and I've loved the healthy lifestyle. So to actually be like living in it is so beautiful for me. I love, again, fruits, vegetables, healthy living, like I'm here for it. So physically, I feel like I am always constantly trying to just choose something healthier to eat. Does that mean every day I'm choosing a salad? No, but does that mean I'm aware it's good for me to choose a salad? Very much. Oh my gosh, you guys hear that? Police, helicopter. Okay, anyways, every day I'm choosing, you know, a healthier option. So, yeah, physically with that, I mean, I am trying to get back in the gym. You know, it's a process. It's a journey. I do make sure that I'm stretching, though, like every other day, just trying to, you know, get there. So, yeah, mentally, um, honestly, the month of December was a really hard month for me, to be honest. Um, 2023 was hard, but there's always there's the for me the good is always gonna outweigh the bad so mentally i i'm always that's something that i personally struggle with and i'm working harder and harder like just to face it because i really want to be the best version of myself for me so i did just recently go to getting going to therapy therapy blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that but um doing that and yeah I feel like mentally on a scale of one to ten how am I doing I'd say a solid eight it's not terrible but it's not like at the top where I want it to be so there's always room for growth so 
yeah, that's where I feel like I am update on my mentally. And then spiritually, like I said, I keep God at the forefront. And with God, I win. Just like that hoodie I just bought. So I'm on the winning team. Um, I think that's it for my life update, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye.